Well, ahead of this season, we heard a lot of chatter about La Nina's potential impacts on hurricane season. But latest guidance, it's shifted the goalpost, now showing that the pattern emerging much later than initially expected, a much weaker La Nina too. So what does this mean for the season ahead, if any potential threat for the late season uh, with this potentially developing La Nina? And that's, I keep saying potential because La Nina, I mean, truly, we're still in neutral conditions. And so I think there was a lot of emphasis on this for this season. Personally, it was in the back of my mind. Um, and to see it, it play out the way it has, I'm not at all surprised. Well, listen, you said there was a lot of chatter. We did a lot of the chattering. Absolutely. Well, we did. We're taking I, I, responsibility. Yeah, and, I, and uh, with reason, because if La Nina had formed, which it had been forecast at that point, to start a little bit earlier, be a little bit stronger, we would have seen different impacts. But I think uh, some of these longer-term forecasted items, that's where there becomes less security around it, less mm -hmm. confidence in it. And we also need to understand how to express that a little bit differently uh, within us. And I do know, Jane, early in the season, you were saying that, like, hey, there, there's still some caveats here. And we were having conversations about what could change this season. And this is certainly one of those items. We've yeah. had a lot of dust. This is one of those items that La Nina hasn't materialized as strongly and as soon as we thought. And that changes the amount of wind shear that's out there in the Atlantic. Uh, and, you know, one of the ingredients maybe to this season not performing the way we thought it might. So when you look at the La Nina transition here, obviously we're in a transitionary period right now. Is it going to be too late? Let's just say the scenario plays out where we actually do get into a La Nina at some point during the hurricane season. Is it still too little too late? Is La Nina something that affects the season uh, more for the MDR, which is going to be quieting down later in the season? Or how do you guys see that? I think it's too late. Okay. I think at this point, La Nina falls off the board for me. I'm not looking at it. I'm looking at the water temperature. Are you mad at La Nina I, for yeah, ruining you the know, I, I think to me, when I think of La Nina, what, what really drove the conversation for La Nina, we came out of a triple dip during one of our most active hurricane seasons on record in 2020. So that took a lot of headline over the last couple of years. Here we sit now with incredibly warm water temperatures and even just the mention of La Nina after coming off of that stretch. Of course, I understand why that was a conversation starter for what the season could ultimately become. But there's always a lag when you're transitioning seasons, yeah. right? So we were in El Nino, we went to neutral, La Nina, but it doesn't, it's not just like a, a flip of the light switch. By the way, we also last year had El Nino mm -hmm. with the same water temperatures, which you would think, hey, we had a really active year last year with El Nino because of the water temperature. So get rid of that. Right. Boy, what's going to happen? You know, but you're right. This this transition hasn't has happened as quickly as we thought um, and uh, as strongly. So good news for us, really. It is. Is it too late? Yeah, maybe it starts to happen in November, which we see a lot less activity once we get towards another. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this pans out. And again, those are the numbers that were forecast. We're not going to make it to those numbers. There's still definitely the possibility that we could see some strong storms. It's happened before in October. And a lot of the atmospheric conditions are going to get a little bit more favorable as we get deeper into the second half of the season anyways. I'll say the one thing, too, real quick before we go. I think La Nina, maybe not an impact on the tropical system, but what about winter? What about winter? Yeah. yeah. What about snowstorms? That That's where we could maybe start to talk okay. La Nina. It's going to be my first. And we will be talking about it. Absolutely. First winter in New Jersey. Hopefully we get some storm, uh, some snow that my kids will see.